While this plant's giant thorns scream, don't mess with me, you may be surprised to learn that these bark knives are actually hollowed out by teeny tiny helper ants and used as adorable little homes. But how does the plant get the ants to stick around? With a downright dirty and diabolical mind control scheme, of course. This is, after all, the cutthroat world of plants. This is Bullhorn Acacia. Hey, I'm Tasha the Amazon, and you're watching Flora Logic. Today we're delving into Vichelia cornigra, otherwise known as Bullhorn Acacia. But we can't talk about Bullhorn Acacia without also talking about its army of loyal guards, Pseudomyrmix ferrugineus, otherwise known as Acacia ants. If the Bullhorn Acacia is Gru, then these ants are its minions. Bullhorn Acacia is a thorny tree that's a member of the Fabaceae family, otherwise known as the legume, pea, or bean family. It can reach heights of around 10 meters and is native to Mexico and Central America. The bullhorn part of the name comes from its swollen, shiny thorns that are so large they can even make cozy little homes for a whole colony of ants. I wonder if they like name their branches the way we name streets. They're like, oh, there's Andy on upper greenery shrub. And there's Carol on acacia stem number two. Who's to say? Maybe. Despite its thick thorns, the bullhorn acacia is relatively defenseless. With mobile creatures, the most effective way to avoid being eaten is to run for the hills. But when you're firmly rooted to the ground, evolution has to get creative. Some plants employ physical defenses to keep from being gobbled down, with the most obvious being thorns and spikes. Plants like corn and wheat prefer to play the long game, absorbing silicon from the soil so their leaves become abrasive and slowly wear down the teeth and mandibles of would-be munchers. Trichomes, or the little fuzzy hairs on leaves, prevent smaller bugs from penetrating it and accessing the leaf tissue below. The other way that plants defend themselves is through chemical warfare. Some leaves and flowers are toxic and repel or even kill those who would snack on them. Other plants have a whole different playbook. They team up with ants for protection. Such is the case for this bullhorn acacia in the Colombian island of Providencia. The island is home to the endemic black crab. This crustacean lives in the forest, but heads to the beach every year to lay its eggs in the sea. But sometimes they walk into the wrong neighborhood. This area of the forest has several acacias guarded by ferocious bullhorn ants. The first crab, unaware of the hyper-aggressive ants, tries to walk past the base of the tree, but the ants are having none of it. As soon as they smell an intruder, the colony goes berserk. The ants surround the crab and bite the soft tissue around the eyes, mouth, and joints. Soon after, the combined venom of hundreds of ants kills the crab. He was just walking by the very wrong place at the very wrong time. Another crab takes the same route, and again, once the ants detect it, they try to kill the intruder. Luckily for this crab, after a few bites, it runs away from the plant and its mighty defenders. It'll be sore, but it'll have learned its lesson. Stay away from bullhorn acacias. These you scratch my pina, I'll scratch your thorax types that develop mutual relationships with ants are called mere mechophytes. There's over 100 species of mere mechophytes that provide food and shelter for their ant BFFs. In exchange, the ants do more than just defend the plant. They also assist with things like pollination and seed dispersal. There's only one tiny problem with this give and take relationship, lazy ants. If the ants don't hold up their end of the deal, it's death for the plant. Bullhorn acacia, however, has a truly diabolical way of brushing aside that potential little issue. First, the bullhorn lures in the acacia ants with its nectar and protein-heavy oils. The ants drill into the bullhorn's thick thorns and happily start to colonize the plant. It's at this point that the bullhorn acacia scheme for securing unwavering loyalty from its ant minion takes a dark turn. Once the colony is established, the bullhorn starts to secrete an enzyme that, once eaten, prevents the ants from being able to break down sucrose. This makes it difficult for the ant to get sugars from other sources. And since the nectar that the bullhorn produces doesn't contain this type of sugar, the ants are forced to continue drinking only from the bullhorn and eating its delicious Beltian bodies, which are chock full of fats and proteins. The very thing that sustains the ants is also what prevents them from ever being able to drink the nectar of another plant. The nectar becomes their gilded cage. 
oddly poetic in its tragedy. With zero regard for their own safety, these ants will now valiantly defend the bullhorn acacia. And it's not just insects and animals they defend the plant from. They defend it from other bullhorns too. If a bullhorn acacia sapling dares to grow too close and threaten the host's light and nutrients, the ants will ruthlessly take it out. Not even humans are spared. Mistakenly brush up against this tree while walking and you'll likely get swarmed by biting, stinging acacia ants. If the bite of one acacia ant is like the sting of a bee, Getting swarmed by a whole army sounds brutal. Ironically, the bark and thorns of the bullhorn acacia have been used in the traditional medicine of Central America for their topical anti-inflammatory properties. They've been used to treat snake bites as well as the onset of asthma attacks, congestion, cough, and headache. Who knows? Maybe they're even good for acacia ant bites. Despite the constant duress they're under, the acacia ants don't always get it right. Sometimes other critters can occupy a bullhorn acacia without detection. The larvae of polyhymno moths create sealed shelters by silking together the bullhorn's leaflets. While not all of them give the ants the slip, those that avoid detection are afforded the luxury of a completely secure ant-defended home. And if there's too many of these larvae, the bullhorn acacia can even die, which of course means the acacia ants die too. If crusty old Gru can learn to treat his minions better, Maybe the bullhorn acacia can evolve to do the same. So what should we talk about next? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for new episodes every week. Bye. Hey, I'm Tasha the Amazon and today, whoa, no. Despite its thick thorns, thick, 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 th